All right, so here's a quick tutorial to kind of show you the essence of what you get. You can do a simple flip card with the um, selected state, or you can use an animation, and you'll that second video link I share the animation has um, it's done with layers. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So first thing, let's go ahead and insert. If you wanted to do flip. Uh, flashcard just using selected states, which I think is the easiest thing you can do. Uh, you can just come in here. Let's just create a card. Let's say this is your flashcard, right? You can look any way you want to. Um, if you add a selected state, we'll come over here to states. Let's go ahead and click edit states. We're going to add a new state and just say selected. When you add a selected state, what that's going to do is it's going to um, be like a toggle. When I click on it, it's selected. When I click on it again, it's back to deselected. So we'll just make this one look a little bit different. Uh, let's say um, you had, uh, we'll just grab a shape in here, right? And we'll just make this white. Um, so let's say you had something like this, right? You may have a, might have a card. An effect like this where I'm, I don't know something like that so you click on it and you're gonna get this right so it's just a selected state so if I preview this now I click and you can see how that kind of works right it's just basically going from one to the next pretty straightforward um, so a lot of simple things and easy things you can do with that and that's you know if you did something like this, you have three objects, and I click on those, you know, click, 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 click. So this is selected, not selected, selected, selected. Now what if you wanted something, if you're doing this, and I only wanted one open at a time, uh, you can create a button set. So we're just gonna go ahead and select all three of these objects, right click on them. You can see button set, I'm just gonna go button set one, and then when I preview this, now I go to the selected state, but when I click on something else, because they're in a button set, it's going to turn this one off. So you can see. So if you want to create like a flip card that kind of shows information, but if you're not on it, you can click on it, uh, turn it over that way, or you can just keep them individual. It just depends on what you want to do. So selected state, button set's really easy. If you want to add those animations like that guy did, um, what you can do is he has like these shapes here, right? And then uh, what he did is to create an animation effect, uh, you're going to create a layer. So let's just go ahead and create four layers. Now here's what I do. Uh, first of all, let me let me change the color of this. To, we'll just change it to gray. All right. So I got my object. It looked really cool, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and copy we're actually I'm going to duplicate this and create one duplicate it again to um, duplicate the layer here we'll go three duplicate the layer again we'll go four now um, oops, if I move this around here just so they're in order and then I'm going to come over here and remove so I only have one here. Uh, this is two. This is three. And this is four. So now when I come to this layer, I want this to animate in. So, and that's kind of what he did. So you have the object animate in. So you're gonna, um, let's just go ahead and uh, put an animation on here. We just do an entrance animation. I'm going to do a, a swivel, right? And then I'm going to do animation painter, double click. I'm going to come over here and put that swivel effect on all of them. So now when I get to this screen, they're going to swivel. So I click on this one. I want to jump to layer one. So let's go ahead and add a trigger. So what do I want to do? I want to show layer one when a user clicks on one 
card one. Now, when I jump to one, this is going to animate in, but this is going to be showing, so we want to hide this. So I'm going to go ahead and add another trigger, and we're going to say change the state of one to hidden when user clicks one. And just so it looks different, we're going to come into this state. I'm going to go into the normal state here. I'm just going to add an icon just so we have an icon. We'll let's just see what we have. We'll go in one. Let's see what comes up. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do this finger here. Okay, one. All right, so we're putting this in, inside inside the normal state. Let's, just so it looks different, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so it's going to animate in, right? And then that's going to disappear. So let's go ahead and preview this. Let's see if this works. So... I click on this, this should go to layer one, and then this should hide, right? And then that animates in. And then I'm going to repeat it, click on two, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and um, create that trigger here. So we, we basically have this one. So we're going to copy this trigger. We're going to select all three of these. And we're going to paste that trigger. And we're going to say two, show layer two, three, show layer three, four, show layer four. So that's all working. And then we need to come to change the state. So let's go ahead and copy that trigger. We're going to do the same thing. Let's select all three of these. We're going to paste that trigger. So change state of two to hidden when user clicks on two, change state of three to hidden when user clicks on three, change four to hidden when user clicks on four. So I'm going to come in here and let's go ahead and do the same thing we did. So we're going to go to format. We're going to do that here. Um, we'll insert an icon. What do we want to do? Two. Let's see. We get two fingers here. We'll just drag that in here. Right. Again, make sure it's inside the normal state. Okay. Now we're going to go to three. I'm going to click into the state. Uh, let's go ahead and change this. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, hold on a second. We'll click this here and we're going to insert icon three. We got this here. I'm assuming these are all the same hands. And we'll call that good. We don't need to do four. All right. So let's. See what we have here done. We go ahead and preview this slide. I click and the animates in. Well, that I need. I didn't want. I didn't put that one. There's a good example. Um, I didn't put this in the right one. So let's go to two. So I put that on this on the layer. So I'm going to Control X. I need to click on here and go inside of the normal state and then paste it into the normal state. Let's just go ahead and do four while we're at it. Four, uh, we want this quick style with this one. Let's go ahead and insert icon four. Uh, what do those look like? I can't see. I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to grab this one. Um, it's not the same one, but that's good enough. Good enough for us, right? So I got this icon. Let's see, Control X. Come inside the normal state. Control V. Let's just put that in here. We'll move, oops, we'll move that. Uh, of course, I grabbed the one with the thinnest line on it. My mouse isn't working. All right. All right. So that's good enough for us. Okay. So the one thing we did notice here is when we click on this, right, is this hides, it shows it great. When I click to a new layer, it's going to hide the following layers. Right, so what we need to do is we need to make all these visible. So that's easy enough to do. So you've got your, your properties down here. So click on the layer, select the property icon. And see how it says hide other layers? Just go ahead and deselect that. And you can 
go ahead and click, keep that open and just click into the layers and you have that. Let me test something. I wonder if I select all layers, properties, hide. Let's see if that worked. All right, that works. So let's, that's an easier way to do this. So go ahead and select all the layers, open up properties, and then remove that. So that means they'll all be visible. So now if we preview this slide, click, 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 and click. All right, so that's the way it works. If you want to reset those, then what you could do is just put like a button on here. We'll just do this. We'll just do reset button right somewhere. Like maybe you want to do it here. And then you're just going to reload the slide. So you're just going to put a trigger on there. What do I want to do? I want to show, jump to slide, uh, this slide when the user clicks the button. So now if I preview this, I can go through these things, right? If I want to reset it, I can do that. Now notice how it didn't reset it. That's because you need to make sure you go into your slide properties here and do reset to initial state. So hit OK. Now let me fix this button too so it looks cooler. We're going to go ahead and add a refresh button here. I'll make this a little bit smaller. So that's our recycle button, right? And then uh, we're going to go ahead and preview this. Now what should happen is if I click this, click this, I want to reset it. It jumps to the slide and reloads them. So a couple of different ways you can do that. The selected state's the easiest. Uh, but if you want to do some animations, you can follow that other guy's technique. He, I think his looks really nice. And uh, this should speed up the production since this UI here uh, looks a little bit different. Hopefully that helps.